friends welcome back to my channel for this video i'm gonna be doing the 100 envelope challenge or a diy here at home i'm new to all this you guys so please bear with me if in case i make any mistakes here along the way i'm gonna be turning one of my candles on my sister gave me these are the candles that my sister gave me for christmas and she's been asking me if i've turned them on and i haven't so i'm like you know what i'm gonna do it right now do it in this video I don't know which one I should use. I think I'm gonna use the red one. I think I'll probably like this one better, the vanilla, but I guess it'll kind of look like Valentine's Day since we are in the month of February. So I'll turn this one on. Smells good. Tis the season, white barn scented candle. I think she bought these from Bath and Body Works. Pretty sure she did. Whoa. I put the candle too close to my microphone and it has like that dead cat. I wanted you guys to hear it burning. I guess the warmth of it reached my microphone. It burned some of the fluffiness off. Yeah, big mistake. I'll put that right there. Hey friends, I'm gonna be doing a voiceover since the audio was lost in the video recording process. I don't know what happened. I think the microphone wasn't turned on, that's what it was. So for this video, friends, I decided to make the mini cash envelopes. Now, I thought it was gonna be so easy, so simple. Let me just show you guys what you will need. You're gonna need any scrapbook paper, and it doesn't necessarily have to be this one. You can always even get whatever paper that you have at home, even printer paper. Yes, you can start off with that if you don't have enough. Because I know like starting to make things, you're gonna start spending money and you don't wanna spend a lot of money because we're trying to budget here. <laughs> and also save money, right? I had these cardstock or scrapbook paper that I had like for years. And I was like, you know what? I'll use that since I already made some envelopes, some cash envelopes with those. So I'll make it with these. And I had purchased it like it was on sale a couple years ago and I bought it at Michael's. You're also gonna need scissors. Now this isn't optional. You can use your, cut the edges. That's just an optional. You're gonna need a scraper. Um, you're also gonna need tape and a ruler, a pencil as well. Now you don't have to use a laminator or the laminating sheets. That's just optional. I'm gonna go over the process of how it all worked out for me at first i was trying to make them all pretty all professional which it didn't work out now the measurements that i was using were six inches that way when you fold it in half it's actually three inches and then i was also using three inches so six by three inches which it fits perfectly the dollar bill now it's fine like i just wanted something that would fit in this dollar tree box then I realized that they weren't really fitting inside the box. It was having a little bit of trouble. So I cut more of the edges and then that was a big mistake because if you cut more of the edges once you're laminating them, then they start to open up. So I put some hot glue gun on the edges, which you'll see later on. So I decided to cut them even or to make them even smaller. If you make them exactly three inches, then once you laminate them, they're going to be over the three inches. So what you want to do is you want to make them six inches by 2.75 inches. That way when you laminate them, it'll have that extra space on the corners and then it'll be three inches. Just make a couple of them to start out. Don't make a whole bunch of them in bulk because then you're going to regret it like I did. This has taken me so long to do, you guys. This took me like five days. After a while, I still made them six inches by 2.75 inches and then i was just using tape it was so much easier because <laughs> the laminating process was actually giving me a hard time like i was cutting too close to the edges i kept messing up so that's what i did i put tape on them and then i'm like you know what i still want to laminate them so i ended up making some more and then i just made them a little bit smaller and then that way when i would laminate them it would be equal to the three inches but it's a work in progress i still have a couple more to make but i just wanted to share this video with you guys 
in case you guys are interested in making these cash mini cash envelopes then that way you'll know like what to expect i hope that you don't make the same mistakes that i have i really hope you don't and i really hope that you learn from this video i already gave you the exact measurements i'll leave everything in the description box below what you need measurement the long way is six inches it's the same size as my cash envelopes that i made before if you already saw that video thank you guys so much so you're just gonna fold it in half and then you're going to run it through your laminator the three inches when you put it in the little box they barely even fit so i had to cut it to 2.75 inches and this was like i said a work in progress i had to learn that the hard way after messing up a couple of times i can't stress this enough you have to cut it smaller 2.75 inches even 2.5 inches would be great and then that's fine if you go over with the laminating the corners the edges it won't even be that noticeable it's they're still gonna look pretty so just give it a try whatever works for you because making them at 2.75 inches it was still giving me a hard time like i i mean i made them they look pretty and they worked out they were giving me a hard time like i was too afraid to cut too close to the edges i mean it worked out but it was a lot of work and that's one of the reasons i would never sell these because i can't sell something that does not look professional i had to add hot glue to some of them Once I cut a whole bunch of them, then I started defaulting. I just felt like this was easier, right? Cut everything and then fold it. That way you have the measurements or you have them already cut. And then I use my scraper. You can always like use like a credit card or whatever thing you might have on hand. It really does help to have something to be folding them. Because I used to fold it with my fingers and your fingers kind of get tired <laughs> of all that folding. Like I used to use my thumb this really works out like if you have like a credit card or a scraper like the one i have once i have cut and fold a whole bunch of them i'm going to be putting them in laminating sheets sometimes it can be a little bit of a hassle right to put it in the laminating sheets because you're going to be might fall out of place but that was not my biggest struggle making in making these mini cash envelopes my struggles were somewhere else now as you can see i decided to cut them even smaller which works out better so the ones that i had made previously like the bigger ones i ended up cutting them and running them through my laminator but i i, I did that later on these are the ones that i have made at 2.75 inches by 6 inches these are the right ones the ones i'm laminating right now because the previous ones that i had made those i had to cut them and then laminate them run them through my laminator once again like i cut them so they could be smaller now whenever you're running them through your laminator they kind of move a little bit don't worry about it especially if it's the bottom part that you have to cut don't worry, i wouldn't be too worried because they're not going to open up from the bottom because that part is already folded yellow and orange and they had this blue one at the Dollar Tree where I went. Decided to get the blue one. I'm going to be taking the... I want to add like a sticker to it. I'll probably do something with my Cricut later on. Let me show you guys my envelopes. 
I'm still missing 20 of them, you guys. This has taken me almost five days to make. Obviously, like, I'm not doing it all in one day. This has been, like, my longest, I guess you could say, project that I've been working on. Now, the reason why it took me so long was because at first I was making them an exact length for them to fit perfectly, but then I was cutting. I, like, I had so many mistakes along the way. That's why I would not sell these on Etsy. I just put my first sale on there. If you want to follow me, I'll leave that in the description box below. I made these cute cash breakdown slips. I made them in different colors and I laminated them so I will be putting them on my Etsy store and I'm so nervous like to put things on there because I don't even know if people are going to be interested or if they're actually going to be buying things from me. One of my followers here on YouTube she did ask if I was going to sell one of my envelopes that I had made so I decided to start putting posting what I'm making in case you guys are interested as well. So I made these uh, cash breakdown slips, laminated them, and I have different colors for them. So I don't even know where I was at. Oh, these, I would never make these. These take so long to make, you guys. Let me show you guys the measurements. The measurement that I was using was three inches and that works out perfectly. But then I was cutting too close to the edges and I had to use hot glue gun for that. I would not sell this, this is, does not look pretty. It, it just doesn't look professional if you cut too close to the edges then it'll open up so that's why i had to make a couple of adjustments along the way so i made those so pretty right and they fit perfectly three inches so that's three inches by three inches exactly then i'm like you know what i need to make them smaller so i ended up making them smaller i laminated them i used tape so again, just a little bit under three inches. They're just so much easier to make this way if you just put tape. So I made a couple of those and then I decided to make them even smaller after that. So I'm still missing 20 more. That way it adds up to 100. And I will be doing that later on today because I do want to start my 100 envelope challenge. I'm going to be doing a cash stuffing video coming up. That's going to be the next video that I'm going to film. So please stay tuned, subscribe, like this video. I hope that you guys do like watching these videos and you guys will continue uh, giving me that support. I'm starting to smell the candle. So if you fold it in half, if you fold, let's get a cute one. Let's find a pretty one. I like this one. This is one of my favorites. So you're gonna open up your envelope, your mini envelope. You're going to fold your dollar bill in half and then just stuff it like so. fits in perfectly three inches this is how it would look then i'll just leave it there i also purchased this 100 envelope challenge slip i don't know if i'm going to be keeping it inside the box but it doesn't fit unless i cut like the edges i also made my own you guys i'm still working on it it's like a work in progress i wanted to make my own but for now i think i'm possibly going to be using this one since i'm still working on mine but please make sure to check out my Etsy shop if you guys are interested in purchasing anything that I'm making. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support that you guys are giving me. Thank you guys so much for the 25 subscribers because we're at 25 right now. Thanks to each and every one of you guys that have subscribed. Take care guys. Don't forget to plan, save, and budget for the future. May God bless each and every one of you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.